Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to me. Hello. I was just about to have my lunch. Would you like to join me? Oh, yay! But first, you should wash your hands too, because I'll share my yummy sandwich with you. And you should always wash your hands before you eat. Well, you know our hands carry a lot of germs. And as healthcare workers, we must always be aware and vigilant about cleaning our hands, right? I used to think that washing with soap and water was the best way to clean my hands, but I've learned that alcohol-based sanitizer rocks for killing most of the nasty germs we might come into contact with in the clinic. You know, unless there's visible icky stuff on my hands, ew, then it's soap and water time. And you know what? I thought I was cleaning my hands properly too, but I wasn't. Are you? I learned recently that when I wash my hands with soap and water, I have to do that for 50 to 60 seconds to make sure as many nasty germs are killed as possible. They like to hang out in places like under my nails and on my fingertips and in places between my fingers, nasty little critters. So I sing happy birthday twice while I wash my hands, which is long enough to make sure my hands are really clean. But when I use hand sanitizer, I only have to sing it once because most germs are dead after 20 to 30 seconds of rubbing. But sometimes I sing it twice just to make sure or when it's actually my birthday. <laughs> I also try very hard to keep my skin moisturized so I don't get those little rough spots that sting, which makes me not want to wash my hands as often. That's for sure. I've been a nurse for a long time and I thought I was performing hand hygiene perfectly. But you know what? I wasn't. I was doing pretty good, but not the best I could. Just goes to show you that you can teach an old dog new tricks. Oh yeah, and speaking of dogs, you should clean your hands after you touch your pets too. So hey, I challenge you to ask yourself, am I cleaning my hands properly? and long enough to get rid of as many germs as I can? Do I clean my hands often enough, like before touching every patient? Do I clean my hands before performing a procedure and after touching itchy things, even with gloves on? Do I clean my hands after I leave my patient and carry on to the next task or person? Maybe you'd like to ask yourself, Am I doing the best I can to keep myself and those around me healthy? Our hands can bring great things. They comfort and heal and fix. And sometimes they bring presents. <laughs> but they can also bring disease and sickness. Things like MRSA and Clostridium difficile. So, ask yourself, am I helping or am I hurting? Clean hands save lives. Be a helper. Be a champion. Stop. Clean your hands.